Hello guys and welcome back to Peninsula Painting Projects. How are we all doing? And you know what guys? I was sat there at home just before and I thought to myself, I can't wait till tomorrow because Conquest comes out. And then I realised it's not bloody Tuesday because it was D&D &D night last night in the shop. So obviously it's not Tuesday, it's Wednesday. So I quickly ran up to um, the WH Smiths, my local one. They keep mine to one side for me. I've put the £20 deposit, um, um, I can, well I pay them a £20 deposit and they put me the, they put this away for me in a filing cabinet. I'll try and get my words out today guys, I do apologise. But anyway, as we know, you know, I've said this so many times, it's 7 99 a week, cheapest chips, you know, even when we're just getting paints, at the end of the day, if you're fortunate enough to be working, 7 is not really much, is it guys? It's a packet of fags. In fact, it's cheaper than a packet of fags. It's cheaper than two pints. You know, it, it's good, put it that way. So let's get, get this open because the glare of the light, stew my head in. Um, and I've not even had a chance to look in this yet because obviously I've literally came from the shop straight to record it. So here's the magazine. What have we got in it this week? Um, battle game in the 41st millennium. Complete your rhino, so we're getting all the bits and bobs to complete it. Learn about Mortarian, oh, see, that will be a good one. That will be a good one. Uh, add transport to your games, right? That's also been an interesting piece, what they've got there. So we'll put that to one side for now and have a look at the sprues. So the, the main sprue, the front sprue that we've got here, and um, we've got some, obviously, chaos spikes with a skull on it. We've got a um, battering ram spike there at the front loads of hooks uh, we've got a lovely town um helmet there impaled upon the spike and i think when this rhino came out it was just after tower released so at the time this was like you know pretty funny thing to be honest I, I do remember when this came out we've got um a combi bolter which obviously in space in the space marine army it's a storm bolter but for chaos it's a combi bolter uh, you, can, you can have either a combi flame as well. We've got um, two Slaneshi signs there, normal chaos sign there, corn. We've got obviously the death guard sign there, which obviously that's what I'll be doing mine. Another chaos symbol there. Two hatches there and two hatches here. Now, that's made me just thought if I would have bought two of the sprues last week and this one, one sprue issue this week there'd be enough hatches here to, to make to um to supply two two full rhinos with hatches because you'd put that one on with the bolter on you could probably put him on there his arms there and you could put the other one as well because we've got lids for the, for the hatches as well down here so yeah i wish i would have thought ahead about that now these are actually for your predators so if you if you buy a, um, a normal space marine predator, or if you know, even if you buy the chaos space, space marine predator, you you get the space marine part, and then you clip the end of the barrels off and stick these onto it, which is quite cool. And I love this is one of my favourite heads in the whole collection of Warhammer. It's obviously it, it's basically the bait, the full bane mask there, isn't it? Got the straps on the the head and the uh, the gas mask on the front. Now that is one of my favourites. And I think I'm going to cut that out and add that onto one of my easy build uh, play marines. That'd be looking quite cool. I might even use his head as well in there as well. That'd be quite interesting, wouldn't it? What else have we got? Anything else good? Havoc launcher here. And the smoke launcher. Here's a body here. Bit of chain mail in the front. Be interesting. And then the other sprue. Oh, okay then. So yeah, I was right, you probably could use this one issue, so the two sprues in this issue to equip two rhinos with. So if I were you guys, I would, I would probably save a lot of this stuff because you could actually go out then and buy yourself a Space Marine Predator and you've got all the upgrade bits there for it. And I'm just wondering, there's one of these an upgrade sprue they had to buy separately at one point. I'm pretty sure they are, you know. So yeah, we've got the spikes there. Again, the things to chop off the ends. These little plates here, that was a nice one. Um, got a space marine head here, and, and lovely 
zombie head there type of thing. Looks quite cool. Like, I can't wait to paint these. Got some chains as well. So, yeah, there's plenty, plenty of bits here to put on your rhino. And I personally advise you not to use them all on the, on the same rhino, to be honest. I think it would be a little bit of a waste. Now, I'm just going to stop this video for a second. I'm going to go and get my rhino that I built last week. And I'll show you what, what I've done up to now. So, hold on a sec. So here's my rhino that I built last week. Now, as you can probably see straight away, something's happened that I shouldn't have done. So I've primed the, the, the whole thing in, um, in, a, in a brown primer. Now, I'm not gonna mention any names because you know I think it's very unfair to bring ne negativity to the spray paint because it's not the spray's fault, it's not the product's fault, it's the user's fault. So as you can see, the brown's gone perfectly fine. I've left it in the tracks there because I'm gonna try and keep them dirty. I've done a um, 45 degree angle spray of the next spray paint, which is more of a beige color. And then the top down spray that I've used, as you can see, it's gone very speckledy. Now that's because I didn't shake it enough and I didn't leave it in, in the water, the warm water long enough. So that's my fault. It's not, it's not the fault of the products. Um, here's a hatch here, so obviously as you can see I haven't glued that on and I haven't, I forgot to spray that as well. And I haven't actually glued these on either. So they, they can actually come, just put a bit of blue tack on the side, pop it on there, you know, they're not coming off. And I'm gonna be ordering the um, Forge World Death Guard doors and front. And I don't think I, no, I didn't even glue that on either guys. So obviously the, the Forge World one comes with the front on and the doors. So I'm, I'm gonna use them basically on it, on this rhino. And I'll probably get myself some other rhinos. I'm actually kicking myself now because I should have bought last week's issue. I should have bought about three or five of them, even for my Space Marine armies, because for bloody 7 99 there's no way anyone could ever buy that out from anywhere. Not even my shop, not online, anywhere else for seven pounds for a bloody rhino, eight pounds for a rhino. Anyway, let's get on with the video. I hope those little little tips there have, um, have helped you. So obviously I'm gonna put the, the spikes in the front. Um, I'm not gonna put any iconography on these doors as of yet. Obviously I'm gonna put the hatches in. Um, I may put one set of chains on, I'm not too sure yet, but we'll have to see. I might put some on, on the rear hatch as well. Um, actually I've glued that in so I can't even change that. I'm pretty sure I did get a spell crow upgrade set. I'm sure I won one in a competition last year. But anyway, we'll, we'll come to that, back to that at a later date. So that's that, let's have a look at the magazine. So the magazine, page one. Information here about the Predator Battle Tank, uh, Iron Hands, which looks quite nice. So yeah, I, I always say this every single issue guys, but basically, to put on the cool artwork of the different chapters and the different armies in these magazines. And for me personally, it make it does spark my interest. I don't want to collect Iron Hands, for example, but most of them, uh, what was it last week? Um, Crimson Fist. I'd love to do a little Crimson Fish detachment. Fish? Fist. So here's the Predator chassis. There's the Annihil Annihilator and the Destructor. And there's obviously the breakdown and look, look into the, the model itself. Here's some information about the Predator Battle Tank, uh, second play company. So that'll be an interesting read there, to be honest. Um, Death on Dominos. Ooh, here's some different color schemes here. A few, a few different Death Guard armies. Or Legion, should I say. And then the, uh, the, the Spear of McCrag. So that, I'm guessing that's, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a full army led by Sergeant Cronus of tanks, that'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? So here's Martarion, more Mortarion, should I say, birth of the Primarch, so it's all information here. He was born on a toxic world. Um, what else? Alien Warlords, Human Shelter, okay. Um, here's a nice bit of artwork of Mortarion. A really, really old piece of artwork there. I really like him, and I think I'll be getting him myself, to be honest, for my Death Guard army. And here's obviously how to paint your, your Death Guard Rhino, because obviously you've got a full kit now. Now to be honest with you, it does look pretty cool with the whole lot, um, all the parts fully fully added to it, but me personally, I think it's best to spread it out amongst them, especially if you are new to the hobby as well. So what else are we looking at? So yeah, paint is silver, paint is green, 
I'm not sure that brush would be big enough though to paint the whole thing. I, I would advise you to get a cheap big brush to paint the whole thing. Yep. Yes, pop the Ultramine's head on there. The crag blue, paint the eyes red. Rakar flesh on the skull. Oh, I'm, I'm the face in and put the Rakar a rake and flesh shade over that. Okay, interesting, interesting. I'm not sure I like the uh, Retributor gold on there, you know, Retributor armor on there. I prefer like a more of a brassy look. And then now it's telling you how to use your transports, which is very interesting. I'm wondering what they're gonna do. Are they gonna give us a green wash in an upcoming issue? Because surely that needs to be pin washed at some point, or in fact, yeah, I think I've answered my own question. Are they going to teach us how to pin wash in one of the issues? Maybe next week, you never know. So here's some information about the Chaos Rhino. Obviously, it's got a different stat line to troops. Obviously, it's got multiple wounds. And then, obviously, as the wounds are lost, the, the, the value of, well, yeah, the value depreciates. So the movement reduces and the ballistic still reduces and the attack does as well. So that's interesting. Um, wasted page here, a bit of artwork. They could have put a, a different pitch there, couldn't they? And then um, mechanized warfare. So there's a mission brief in there. I need to, I need to try and read these before I do the video, but I just wanted to get it out and get the get the uh, unboxing done for you guys. So what are we getting in next week's issue? Oh, interesting. Um, okay, so we're getting in issue 29. So but they are nearly 29 weeks into this, guys. So we're getting the Gravis Armour Captain, another Inceptor, we're getting another Pointy Space Marine, and we're getting Pointy Sergeant, and we're getting a Plasma Incinerator um, Hellbuster. And then in the following week, we're getting the Rise of Rust Ruins. So that'll be quite cool. So guys, what do you think of this issue? Let us know what you think of it. Did you manage to get yours? I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment, and I'll see you later. Tra.